What's up guys, I'm here with another review from Yankee Candles Cookie Swap Collection. I have done three so far and I finished up my other three. This one here I'm reviewing now, I finished up a little while ago, but I just haven't didn't have time to do a review because we had Vlogmas and everything. I just kind of got backed up on doing the reviews and then I just finished the other two and um, I will do, be doing reviews of those after this. So if you see me wearing the same shirt, that's why, because I'm trying to do these all now so you, I can get the reviews out since I have a little bit more time since the Vlogmas is done. So, I'm reviewing today Magic Cookie Bar. Like I said, from the Cookie Swap Collection. And I will read the description of Magic Cookie Bar. It says layers of lusciousness, chocolate, coconut flakes, brown sugar, butterscotch, on and on. So, this scent. I got basically what I pick up mostly when I first smell this is the toasted coconut. I get toasted coconut quite a bit with this one. But then you also get that chocolate. You do get a little chocolate, but it's not like anywhere like a little chocolate layer cake or anything. It's just like a subtle hint of chocolate mixed with that toasted coconut. And then you almost get like a a peanut butter kind of smell. And butterscotch type of peanut butter smell. Um, that's basically what I get. Like, I kind of like the cookie. I mean, the cookie's got toasted coconut, it's got chocolate in there. I don't really think it has peanut butter necessarily on there, but I get that. It says butterscotch in the title, but I get like a, a peanut butter kind of butterscotch kind of scent to it. It says brown sugar. I could kind of get brown sugar in there. But yeah, it's just, it smells just like a good a cookie bar with with toasted coconut chocolate butterscotch peanut butter that's basically what you get there's not really much else in there too much yeah i liked it it that's basically spot on of, of the scent description and what the picture says so i'll talk about the burn the burn on this was really good actually it did it burned really well through most of the candle it got a wax pull fairly quick i keep an alumalid on it at all times after I light it and it took you know an hour to two or so to get a wax pull sometimes I will put foil on there to speed up that pulling out process but once I got the wax pull it was fine um, it didn't take too too long to get the wax pull even if I didn't put foil on it it got it after so long it never struggled with getting the wax pull so um, burn was really good on this as well the throw on this one it did pretty good it wasn't really strong but I say about a medium throw on this one maybe like a six to a seven maybe i could smell it i had it in the bedroom and i could smell it in there but in the living room of course it was a lot lighter that's just how it goes but yeah i i smelled it but i wish it was a little bit stronger the melt cup on the other hand was super strong i had that in the living room open concept area and it just was filling the whole area full of just magic cookie goodness it was just i almost had to turn it off because it was actually too strong a little bit I just wish the candle would have been more like the milk cup and it would have been really good. But yeah, um, it it was nice. It wasn't like one of my favorites, but it was good. I might pick this up again. Maybe if it was like at a SAS sale or something for like $7 maybe or something like that. But um, don't normally buy the large jars like I said before, but this one, this one did burn okay though. It burned pretty good for the most part. So that is my review for Magic Cookie Bar. This one did, did pretty good, not super strong, but not bad and it burned really good so I enjoyed it for the most part so thanks for watching and then stay tuned for my other two reviews my last two reviews of sprinkled sugar cookie and candy cane meringue and I will see you guys in my next video bye